a very very important question for all of your interviews this question has been asked by almost every big company like microsoft facebook amazon google so make sure that you are understanding the concept behind this very properly i am talking about the problem next greater element 1 on lead code i call this problem important because this problem can be transformed into many different ways but the underlying idea will still remain the same so let's see how we can go about doing that hello friends welcome back to my channel a place where we explore the life of tech and make programming fun and easy to learn first i will explain you the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases next we will come up with a proof for solution to the problem and see why that is not a feasible one going forward we will try to optimize the solution and then also do a dry run of the code so that you understand how all of this actually works in action without further ado let's get started let us first try to make sure that we are understanding the problem statement correctly i know that this problem is very verbose so i have simplified it very much for you you are given with two arrays of integers right nums1 and nums2 and you have to find out the next greater element for some selective elements so for example i have this array nums2 with me right and i need to find out the next greater element for element 4 for element 1 and then ultimately element 2 so when i say the next greater element what does that mean for example when i'm looking at element number 4 so element 4 is present in this array right and to find the next greater element look at this array from this side so when you're looking at the array from the left hand side what is the next greater element that you can find to the right of element 4 you cannot find any element that is greater than 4 right so you will simply write minus 1 over here that means you are unable to find a element greater than 4 to the right next let us look at element 1 so if you see element 1 in your second array and then start looking to the right what is the next greater element that you find so going to the right of 1 you see that 3 is the next greater element correct so you will write down 3 as your next greater element for element number 1 next you have element number 2 so when you look at element 2 you cannot find any other greater element to the right of it right so once again the answer to this would be minus 1 now you have covered all of the integers right so for the first test case this array would be your answer similarly let us look at our second test case i have my array 1 2 3 4 and i have to find out the next greater elements for element 2 and for the element 4 so once again i will look from the left hand side and then try to find the next greater element for element number 2 the next greater element to 2 is 3 so i will write down 3 in my output array and then i have to check the next greater element for element number 4 correct i cannot find any next greater element so for this i will simply write down minus 1 the answer to test case number 2 will be this array so now if you have understood this problem statement feel free to try it out once again otherwise let us try to see what kind of solution can we come up with before solving this question it is very important to understand what is the actual meaning of next greater element so let us take up a sample array this time i am taking a very big array and we will try to find out the next greater element for all of these elements so i have this output array with me and in this array i will find out the next greater element for all of these corresponding elements so how do you begin looking for the next greater element the rule of thumb is you need to start looking from the left direction so you have to assume that i'm looking from this direction and i have to find out the next greater element for each of these element let us start from the beginning i have element number 4 with me correct so when i start looking from the left direction what is the first element that i find that is greater than 4 that will be 12 correct so the next greater element for element number 4 will be simply 12 this is how you populate your array going ahead i have the element number 12 right now when you have to look for the next greater element you don't start from the very beginning you will start from 12 and then look all the way to the right when you look all the way to the right you do not find any element that is greater than 12 correct so for element 12 the next greater element will be minus 
that simply means that you were unable to find an element greater than 12. Moving on to our next element that is 5. So to find the next greater element, start looking to the right of 5. 3 is smaller, 1 is smaller, 2 is smaller, 5 is equal, so you will move ahead. 3 is small, 1 is small, 2 is small, 4 is small, and then ultimately you get 6. 6 is greater than 5, right? So for element number 5, the next greater element will be straight away 6. And you can write this in your output array. Similarly, for element number 3, the next greater element will be this 5, correct? So you are going to write down 5 over here, right? This is how you can go on filling this entire array, right? Try to do it as an exercise on your own. So now you know that the most naive way to approach this problem would be you start from the first element and then explore the entire array until you find the next greater element. So you start with 4 and start exploring the array. You find 12, so you will simply write down 12 as your output, correct? Next, you start with 12 and then again explore the entire array. You do not find, so enter a minus 1. Next, you start with 5 and then once again explore the entire array to find 6. And then you can write down 6 in your answer, correct? So this way, you can populate your entire array. And this method works. You will find out a solution. But the problem is that you have to iterate through this entire array again and again to find the next greater element, correct? And hence, this solution is not optimized. If you submit a brute force solution on lead code, it will get accepted because this problem is under the easy category, right? But if your array is very large, if you have a lot of elements, then this approach will be very time consuming. So let us see how we can optimize this solution. Whenever you try to find an optimal solution, try to find out what was the problem with the brute force approach and then try to work upon them. So let us say I have this sample array in front of me and this is the array that I have to populate to find out all the next greater elements, correct? When we were doing a brute force approach, what did we do? We were traversing the entire array again and again, right? From the starting and going all the way up to the end, correct? Because it could be a chance that we are finding the next greater element towards the end of the array. For every element, we start from the beginning and go up till the end. We start from the beginning and go up till the end, right? So first of all, why not we start from the end itself? Because when we are starting from the end, then we have already covered all of these elements, right? So, okay, you will start from the end. But there is one more problem that you have to solve about. When you are finding the next greater element, you have to give me the first occurrence of the greater element that you find, correct? For example, if you have the element 2, you have to return me 5 as your answer. Although 3, 4 and 6 are also greater than 2, right? But you have to return me the most recent element that you find, correct? That tells you that the most recent element, right? The most recent element means last in first out. And that tells you that you have to take the help of a stack data structure. So let us say I have this helper stack for me, correct? You will ultimately get the intuition behind it. So, how do we start solving now? Let us start with the last element and that is 6. Right now, our stack is empty. So, what I'm going to simply do is, I will add 6 to my stack, right? And you don't have any greater element than 6, right? So, I can simply write down minus 1 in my output result, correct? Now, move ahead. The next element is 4. Compare this element to the top of the stack. This element is smaller than the top element of the stack, right? That means this 6 is the next greatest element. So what I'm going to do is I will write down 6 in my output result and I will add this element 4 to my stack. Let us move on and you will slowly understand it. So the next element is 2. Once again, compare it with the top element of the stack. Since 2 is smaller, I will write down 4 in my output and I will add 2 to my stack. Move ahead. I have the element 1. Compare 1 with the top of the stack. The top of the stack is 2. Once again, 2 is larger. So I will add 2 in my result and then I will add 1 to my stack. So what do you see over here? You see an increasing stack, right? That is the core idea. You will get your next greater elements in this stack. Let us see how we are getting them. So the next element is 3. This is where things will get interesting. Compare 3 to the top of the stack. The top of the stack is smaller than 3, right? 
So what you are going to do is you will pop out the top element of the stack and then once again compare 3 with the top of the stack. You see a 2 over here. Since 2 is also small, pop it out. Once again compare 3 with the top of the stack. Now 3 is smaller than 4. That means the next greater element for 3 will be 4. And then you can write down 4 in your output. And this 3 could be a potential candidate for your next greater element. So simply write down 3 in your stack now. So you see how this stack is always maintaining an increasing order of all the elements, correct? Moving on, I have the element 5. Once again, compare 5 with 3. 3 is smaller. So I will remove this element. Now compare 5 with 4. Once again, 4 is smaller. So I will remove it. Now compare 5 with 6. 6 is larger. So I got my next greater element and that is 6. And what I will do is, I will simply add 5 to my stack. So this is how this process will continue on, correct? You might be wondering what will happen when I get the element 12, right? When you get the element 12, this stack will become completely empty, right? Because there is no element greater than 12. So as soon as your stack becomes empty, you write down minus 1 in your answer and you will add this new element to your stack. So your stack will always have the greatest element to the bottom, right? So this way you can approach this problem and fill up all of these elements. Try to complete them as an exercise. If this entire concept is clear to you, writing the code for this is very, very easy. Let us see how we can do that. For the code, I will just focus on finding the next greater element array. If you want the complete code and its test cases, you can find the link in the description below to my GitHub profile. So for this case, first of all, what I do is I create my next greater elements array that will store all of my next greater elements, right? I also have a helper stack with me in which I will be storing all of the greater elements. So what I do is I start a for loop that starts from the very end and goes all the way up to the first element, right? And then what is the first thing that we did? If the stack is empty, that means we don't have any greater element, right? So what we're going to do is we will simply add 2 to our stack and add minus 1 in our next greater elements array. So you see, we push the element to our stack and in a next greater element, we add a minus 1. And then we continue to the next iteration. Next, you have the element 1, right? Now your stack is not empty. So you check if the top of the stack is greater, then this is the next greatest element, right? So 2 is greater than 1, correct? That means 2 is the next greatest element. So I will write down 2 in my output array and I will put 1 in my stack. I'm pushing 1 in my stack and I write down the top element of the stack to my output array. Correct? Moving on to the next element that is 4. The stack is not empty. The top element is not greater than the current element. So we are past this condition also. Now what do you do? You remove all the elements that are smaller than the current element. Right? So I will be doing a stack.pop. So this will remove 1 and 2 from my stacks, right? As soon as these elements are removed, my helper stack is again empty, correct? As soon as my stack is empty, I will add this element to my stack and for my output, I will add minus 1. So this way, your loop will go on for each of the elements in the reverse direction and you will ultimately populate this array. The time complexity of this solution is order of n. That is because you are going through the entire array only once and the space complexity of this solution is also order of n. That is because you are creating a stack that can have a maximum of n elements. I hope I was able to simplify the problem and its solution for you. As per my final thoughts, I just want to say that this problem can have a lot of variations. You can start to see that for yourself, right? You could be asked the distance to the next greatest element. You could be asked the difference between the next greatest element and all sorts of variations, right? What other variations did you see that had the same underlying idea? How did you approach them? Can you solve them in a better way now? Tell me everything in the comment section below and I would love to discuss all of them with you. You would be also glad to know that a text explanation to this problem is also available on the website studyalgorithms.com, a pretty handy website for your programming needs. You can find the link in the description below. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This motivates me to make more and more such videos where I can simplify programming for you. Also let me know what do you want to learn next or rather what do you want to know about the life of technology. 
Until then, see ya.